Okay, welcome back to day 11 of the Social 30. So our recurring thoughts for this day of Social 30 uh, are starting conversations outside of the healthy living uh, conversation sphere. Okay, so let's do, we're going to do this on Twitter and on Facebook. So go to Twitter, look up something that interests you. Cycling, fly fishing, here's an example, horseback riding, gardening, whatever it is, and just search for that term. Find somebody who's talking about that topic and start a conversation with them. Just reply to a tweet. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you'll be surprised at how many people, even if they're um, quote unquote celebrities uh, or brands, will tweet back at you uh, because it's such a public platform. This is a little bit of a side note, but if you ever get um, in a situation at an airport where you are, your flight gets delayed, don't go get in line at the counter with everybody else and don't get on the 800 number with everybody else. Start tweeting at the airline and they will respond to you immediately because it's so public. Uh, little travel tip there. All right, so go do that on Twitter. Go start a conversation with whoever you want. Some celebrity chef, uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy, I mean, you know, pro skateboarder, whatever you want, whatever you're interested in, go start a conversation. Now let's take that same thought and apply it to Facebook. Because of the way that Facebook works, you don't always see the content from everybody who's in your friend network. So let's go reactivate uh, a friendship on Facebook. If you have accepted a Facebook friendship request from somebody you went to high school with, and you accepted that friend request, six years ago and you haven't talked to them on Facebook since then, Facebook thinks that you don't really care what they have to say. And so you're not seeing their stuff. So to rebuild that affinity between you and that person so that you see their stuff more frequently and they see your stuff more frequently, a little ulterior motive there, but that's okay. Go comb through your Facebook friend network Find somebody you know you haven't talked to in a long time. Go visit their profile and comment on a recent post of theirs. If it's a photo, an article or something, re-engage with that person. Of course, they'll be happy to hear from you. And you are building your affinity with that person uh, on Facebook. So think of your existing friends network as the warmest, single warmest market you have. And when you operate on Facebook, like most of us do, which is hop on, consume our home profile for a few minutes and then hop off, you are not utilizing uh, Facebook to its potential because not all those people are seeing your stuff that are in your network. So those are the thoughts for the day. See you tomorrow.